Greetings all. We had a class on Tuesday that talked about the Operation Lead Gen that we've turned into a local company contest, but I didn't record it. So I'm going to give you a brief recording here that will help you understand what's going on with it. So let's go with this one. There we go. These are the slides we showed, and this introduces the nationwide Operation Lead Gen. Why are they doing one? Well, because most parts of the country aren't as lucky as we are doing as much business as we are. They're locked in, and you have to figure out ways to get in contact with your sphere. And they're trying to help us. Why are they helping us? Because everything we're closing now, we worked on at least 100 days ago. Kind of the minimum that you can do is 100 days in getting uh, uh, from meeting somebody to talking with them to building a relationship and so on so we have to build relationships and for your business you have to learn to build relationships what are the expectations through each of this you'll make calls or some sort of contact with your sphere of influence and we'll go over what those can be a little bit you keep track of your process <clears throat> excuse me by recording your contacts appointments and referrals in the scoreboard and i'll show you that and at the end of our contest, in about four weeks, whoever has the most points wins. And you will also have, uh, we have content that we will be giving you on a calendar. Things that will tie together to show you how you can post something on Facebook, how you can then do something uh, with your phone calls, and also with uh, becoming an area expert. All those will be provided to you. So. We'll look at those in just a second. Your sleep number. <clears throat> if you're an experienced real estate agent and you already know how much business you want to do because you've done enough math that you said last year I did 10 deals and this year I want to do 15 deals. Well, this chart that you could click on right here would help you figure out how many contacts you need to make per day. I also encourage you to do this even if you don't do the goal projector because we want you to come up with what your number is. We want you to know how many people you need to talk to per day to get a deal done. To access a challenge, I would like you to go to Be Better University. Okay. And I'm going to click on it now so that I can show you these other things. But BeBetterUniversity.com is a shortcut so you don't have to go through the greenhouse. You still have to log in. Your login credentials are the same as the greenhouse. So it's your first name dot last name at bhgrealestate.com and then whatever your password is to get in the greenhouse. Or if you're already in the greenhouse, then you can just click on this and it should take you in. So I clicked on it. It brings this up. And because I'm already logged into the greenhouse, this is the screen you go to. You then click on continue login or watch that little movie out there if you want and right at the top you see operation lead gen you also see it right here register well because i'm already registered there's a little bit of a problem showing you that but let me go through some stuff anyway they show you how they've got their written instructions on how to register and how to be a part of it you can view the cohorts right here and since I'm already registered, I would, and after you register, you'll just click on the cohort. Now, so you don't get confused. There's only one Operation Legion cohort in there, so don't get too worried about it. When you click on that, that takes you inside the class. And inside the class, it's got your information, everybody who's enrolled in it. And as you can see, there's a lot of people. Classes you can ignore because right now I don't think there's anything in there. My activity. Now, this is where you'll record your contacts, your appointments, and referrals. And you record that by clicking on the pencil over here and saying, today's date, I had one referral. Or I can put my goal in. And your goal can be one a day. It doesn't have to be, and I'm going to leave that as a blank and save. Now, if you want to set a goal for referrals, you can click here and you can say one referral a day 
or you can say update referral select them and you wish to update you can choose and you can click on and give yourself goals and so on but i'm not going to set a goal i would suggest on contacts you should absolutely set a goal because you no matter how many appointments you get if you don't contact people you won't get appointments and finally there's the leaderboard which has all of the stuff in it about who's winning and you can see I'm darn near last right now. No, I am last because I'm not doing much of anything. Now then, let me find right up here where it says resources. Resources is important for us because they post the calendar in there and I want you guys to start with week one because actually we just started this week. And as you save that, and I'll open it up here, you'll see it's got a lot of the stuff that we've already seen, but then it tells you how to get into the social tool, click here to access it, watch some tutorials. Then it's giving you an example of what the two monthly calendars are that they will have. And then it gives you what to do on day one. Oh, well, on day one, you can write an article about the housing market and you can post it. You can become a social media expert. And these are some scripts that you can follow. Day two, social distancing is easier in your dream home. And then it tells you to walk you through things. So these are your daily to do's. And I would like you to get in contact with people five days a week. Now I'm going to close this and see if I can get back to my show. I am back to my show. So that's how you log in, get involved with the cohort, and then that's where you go to record your activities. Your calendar will look very much like this. And basically, it's going to give you some things that are happy things. It's going to give you some stuff to think about, to go through as you're putting things in and other ideas of how you can become someone who has something to talk about with your client. And let me tell you, if you don't like what day one says on the other calendar, go ahead and go to, just glance at this and say, ooh, showcase a great nonprofit. I like that idea. I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is back to the example of the day one, and you'll see that you'll be able to click on videos and watch these if you choose. This is all five days, and I'm going to go through these for a moment and get to the social media tool. The only thing I've heard so far about the social media tools is to be sure and link all your accounts so you can post from one place. And this will show you the tutorial on how to get it, and that's included in the thing I just told you to download. Now then, how's our contest work? Contacts, contacts, contacts. You've got to talk to people. So any new contacts. Now these aren't, I've uh, exported my entire database from one database to another one and put them in something else. No, I'm talking about Zap or whatever database you use. I met someone at the grocery store. I got their information. I added them here. I met somebody at an open house. I added them here. New contacts and new contacts don't have to be face to face talking to a current contact so you've got somebody in your soi and you either text them or send them a personal email not a mass email or you call them on the phone just to chat with them that is a that also would be a contact and then i want you to record your actions daily how many contacts did you add or visit with every day, five days a week. The one who has the most contact points at the end of this one's $150. Appointments. If you get a new listing appointment, an appointment is not, I have an old listing, but I'm going to go over and take new pictures. No, that doesn't count as a listing. I'm talking about someone you haven't listed their house and they've called you and said, we'd like to have you look at our home and talk about listing it. That would be a listing appointment. Buyer agency. Not every time you go show homes. A new buyer agency appointment is somebody calls and said, I want to look at a house. 
great. Let's have an appointment and talk about setting them up. Now, it doesn't matter if they come from your sphere of influence or not. It's just not that you're currently working with them and put an, do not put an appointment in every time you go out to show homes. A new contract appointment. You've got a buyer agency and they're ready to write a contract. That is an appointment. We will definitely take that as an appointment. The most appointment wins 100 bucks. Now, why is that cheaper than this one? Well, because this is harder work. We don't like to make new contacts and we need to to generate all of these. And when you're getting a listing appointments and contracts, you're making big money. So I would decided to lower that a little bit. Now, you can also get referrals. If you refer someone out of city, out of state, uh, even in city, I guess could happen. But a referral is where you will can make a little money for not doing anything. Let's say your Aunt Martha lives in Dallas and Aunt Martha wants to move to Denver. And you see that on Facebook. You call Aunt Martha and say, listen, Aunt Martha, I'm a real estate agent and I can help you pick the best real estate agent there is in Denver. You don't have to do any work at all. All I need you to do is let is use the agent that I'm going to send you through and then we'll find you an agent in Denver who will work for you. Aunt Martha says, great. And you get 25% of the re of the commission if that happens. So that's a referral. And referrals also count in appoints. So total points include contacts, appointments, and referrals. And whoever in our company has the most points gets $200. And that will be at the end of four weeks that started Tuesday. Now, if you talk to somebody on Tuesday and Wednesday and didn't record it, go do it now. That's just fine. But the bottom line is we want to get you guys starting to make contacts with your sphere, building your sphere, and working on getting those appointments. This is a brief recording. I'm going to send it out to everybody who already had it. If you've got other questions, email me. But I appreciate everything you've done to, up till now. Uh, and I also appreciate that you guys are willing to participate in this. Get out, make contacts, whether it's a phone call, whether it's a text, whether it's an email, just tell people I'm thinking about you. Thanks, guys.